The Tribunal has been warned. They will make preparations in case the efforts here fail. I doubt that even they can weather the resulting storm if the worst comes to pass. As I calculated, your actions will determine the outcome of these events. In part, determining the possible consequences of disparate actions becomes easier when studying the primary catalyst. You have a tendency to fill that role in almost all situations. What happened after the Sapiarchs failed to attune the diamonds? A bold move. Still, I see the logic. Who better to send against their betrayer than the mortal who bested their plans at every turn? If Mafala agrees, you'll be able to assault the tower. I just wish I knew what Nocturnal hopes to accomplish. I'm not sure that's within the capability of the Crystal Tower, but if she uses my technique for siphoning life energy to supercharge the tower... Hmm. An interesting application of the magic of the Abyssal Pearls. It could work, I suppose. If Nocturnal uses the life force of Nern to increase the power of the Crystal Tower, she can then use the same technique to steal the energy of the Daedric Princes as she invades their realms. Infinite connections. Infinite power. Ingenious. Gather your companions and meet me in the Dreaming Cave. We must contact Vile and Mafala so you can enter the Crystal Tower, recover the Heart of Transparent Law, and repair the Tower Crystal. That will require a burst of divine energy, though. Transparent Law. The crystal at the top of the tower is as much metaphysical as it is tangible. Only divine energy can reconnect the heart and make the crystal whole. Of course, Nocturnal is aware of this as well. If Nocturnal performs the restoration and once again merges the heart with transparent law, her connection to the tower will become unbreakable. She truly will ascend to an infinite state of being. You must enter the Crystal Tower and recover the heart. Then find a relic filled with divine energy and repair transparent law. Only then will the Tower's innate defenses re-engage and repel Nocturnal's influence. In theory, anyway. This is Arteum. Raz is impressed, and truly frightened by the very strange sky. Ah, here comes your friend now. Just remember, you were never here. The Conclave isn't fond of visitors. For a place that doesn't like visitors, Raz thinks it's pretty busy, yes? Raz never had the urge to travel to Oblivion, or visit a magically displaced island. But now Raz feels like the cat who caught the farmer's prized turkey. It is good to see you safe, my friend. Now, tell Raz you have a way to save Somerset. Raz knew that strange talking dog would lead you into trouble. Do you really think we can trust those Daedric princes? No, too late for that. Tell Raz the rest of your plan, yes? Foolish, but brave. Also very foolish. Raz has walked into certain death many times and emerged with his fur intact. Mostly. But Raz knows why you do this thing. Raz will not try to talk you out of this. He will instead give you happy news. Raz warned Queen Irene. She has promised to contact the leaders of the other alliances and assemble a mighty force to deal with this threat. 
which brings us to the not-so-happy news. The mighty force won't reach Somerset for quite some time. Oh, Raz could tell you about prevailing winds, unusual storms, and other factors beyond our control, but it amounts to the same thing. We're on our own, my friend. Not this time. Raz must go back and lead the Divine Prosecution in defense of Somerset. If the Crystal Tower keeps exploding, we will evacuate the island and save as many people as we can. May the luck of Joan and Jod be with you, my friend. You are a terrific father to our daughter, Lathan. I'll never forget that. You were always Elderway's hero, Val. I envied the way she looked up to you. I'm sorry, Lathan. I should have been there with you, with her, at the end. You were trying to save her. I know that. It was just... Damn it. We need to win this, Val. Things will never be the same between me and Lathan again. But I think we understand each other a little better now. Funny how the approaching end of the world has a way of putting everything into perspective. I've been a member of the Sigic Order for more years than I can remember. But this is the first time since my daughter's illness that I've been truly frightened about what's to come. The world ends all the time. It's just that I'm more accustomed to that being a personal event, and not a shared experience. The world ended when the Reich Master died, for example, but only from his perspective. If Nocturnal remakes reality... You have a way of instilling confidence, my friend. You're similar to the Reich Master in that regard. If we can't have him at our side for this, I'm glad to at least have you. I just hope we can see our way through this. I'll meet you at the cave. This shrine, Val and I built it for our daughter after she died. High elves don't bury their dead, but we needed something to remember her by. She loved climbing this tree before the illness took her. I forgot how beautiful it was. With the Sigic Order and my mistress Mythala aligned toward a common goal, I'm feeling practically giddy with anticipation. But never fear. I'll re-establish contact with my prince when called upon to do so. I gave you my word. The court offered me a purpose after my life lost its meaning. Our princes promised to remake the world, turn it into a better place, a paradise, and they were going to elevate the Altma back to their status as gods. Suffering would come to an end. Not in the least. Remaking the world to eliminate death and disease is one thing. Destroying everything to turn yourself into a being of infinite power now that's something else entirely. Mathala will see that and provide the help you need.
Sijix must be wine drinkers, because this ale they make tastes awful. I brought Lathan back, and what does Valsarin do? Sends me off without a word or a thank you. So when do we head out to assault the Crystal Tower? No one tells me anything around here. I knew I could count on you. You're always straight with me. I appreciate that. Still, the last time I went off to fight a Daedric Prince, there was a celebration. A party! <laughs> this time it's just us. What? No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. I just mean back then there were more familiar faces, friends who I knew had my back, charging into battle with allies I trusted. There was a comfort in that. Here I'm practically a stranger. And trust me, I am grateful for that. You're kind of like me in a lot of ways, aren't you? An outsider caught up in things we don't fully understand? Whatever happens, when this is over, let me buy you a drink. Then we can have a proper celebration. Talk to me when you're ready to proceed. This is the moment of truth. Once we begin, nothing can stop the rush to the grand conclusion. Make sure you have everything you need before I activate the Dreaming Cave. I'll lead you through the Fields of Regret to reach the Crystal Tower. Hey, that dog just talked! I can establish contact with Mithala. She's ready to appear if you're willing to lower the defenses. Oriandra, Valserin, assist me. Let us open a path and not keep the Prince of Secrets waiting. So the seal, the false guard. I should have expected to see you. Lady Mithala. Will you honor the agreement you made with this mortal? I am always true to my word. Now, send forth a mortal who consistently avoids the tangles of my webs. We have much to discuss. You are strangely consequential for a mortal. In my calculations, I somehow overlooked your significance. And yet... That has worked to my advantage. For now we have a chance to thwart Nocturna, and that will be something to savor. I can attune the Diamond Keys, but that won't be enough to keep you safe. Using the secrets she stole from Sotha Seal, Nocturnal has infused the Crystal Tower with boundless energy. It makes the tower's connection to reality increasingly unstable. I must turn the Resolute Diamonds into more than just keys. They must become an anchor, something to lock you to this reality. Without such a weight, you will be lost as the tower rapidly shifts from one plane to the next. And in exchange... Two trivial concessions, nothing more. First, just as Vile sends his hound, I want you to take my Earl Lathan into the Crystal Tower. And second, I wish a private meeting with So the Seal after reality has been saved. Do we have a deal? Two resolute diamonds, imbued with the power of Mephala. Now they merge into a single gem. One resolute anchor to serve as both key and safeguard. Do not lose this. 
Only its presence will keep you and your companions anchored to this reality. Remember, if any of you stray too far from the protection of the Resolute Anchor, you'll be lost in the nothingness between realities. And know that I will be watching. Can she do that? I hate being spied on. Now it's my turn. Let me use the gift my master gave you, and I'll get you to the Crystal Tower. Get the heart and restore the crystal known as Transparent Law. But remember, you'll need a relic of divine energy to accomplish that. Nathan, promise me you'll keep them safe. I promise, Val. Oriandra, if I die saving the world, know that our brief time together has made me a better man. What are you talking about? Shh, 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 shh. It's all right to cry. I'll do my best to return to you. I promise. What just happened? What's that crazy knight talking about? for the element of surprise. Where's Vile's Hound? Has he abandoned us already? sends creatures into our realm, not while Barbaris is on guard. Stop it! Come forth! Where are you going, creature? I promised to show you the way. There, follow that path. That's the way to the tower. Now, I have a realm to defend. I don't think I like Barbaris very much.
mess. And to think we're depending on the actions of mortals. Oh well, let's talk. Nocturnal dares much attacking my master's realm. But here you are, safe and sound. The Crystal Tower. At least it's the version that exists in the fields of regret. Now, I really need to get back to barking and biting Nocturnal's minions. Well, that depends on how good Mafala's magic is. If you're attuned to the Resolute Anchor like she promised, then the doors to the Crystal Tower will open at your approach. If not, you'll more than likely die on the doorstep. That was the plan, yes. But plans change when Nocturnal attacked my master's realm. Now Clavicus Vile wants me to repel those invaders and start preparing contingencies in case you fail. Understand, I have no contingencies, so try not to fail. I've never been inside a tower that straddles every reality, but I expect you're going to have to go up, up, up. If you do reach the Night Mistress, fight her once for me. Remember Mafala's warning. Stray too far from the Resolute Anchor, and you'll get lost between realities. This place looks surprisingly intact. The interior and the exterior of such places rarely coincide perfectly. I pity the sacred. Dead end. Did we make a wrong turn? Tower. It's moving. Fascinating. It appears to be reconfiguring itself. And let's get moving before the tower remakes this platform out of existence. I expect we'll see more evidence of this malleable nature the higher we climb.
Look at this place. Part of the ceiling has fallen in. Yes, but what happened to the Shadow Sapiarchs? They were thick as crows on the lower levels. Stay! Stay back! Really? A walking volcano? entered the tower, but you must get out of here. She's still alive. We have to help her. No, stay back. The relic that protects me, it's failing. You can't help me. She's right. Look how she's starting to fade. Please, before I am lost, tell me, what happened? I deserve to know why the tower has done this. Nocturnal? So I am to die as a pawn in some game played by a Daedric Prince? I'm sorry, but you've reached a dead end. The explosions. The exit is blocked by debris. There's no way to move it. You should turn back and flee. The old ballista. If you could get it working again, it might be strong enough to punch through the debris. Oh, gods, the relic. I'm... I'm not ready to die. I don't want to die. Let me help you. Clear your mind. It's so hard to concentrate. Think of your loved ones. Picture their faces and my magic will help you. I see them. The pain is fading. I can see. She... She's gone. Her last moments were peaceful. I saw to that. The magic that held back the shadows is gone. They'll be upon us before we know it. Sapiarch was right. That is a ballista. It's not broken, it's just missing a few parts. Uh, look around while I get the rest of it back in working condition.
That should do it. Just need a crank, a rope, and some ballista bolts. Clear a path. I need one of those. Curious. From the opening in the ceiling, it appears that we're no longer in Vile's realm. So that's what they meant when they said the tower was in every realm at the same time! big on Yes, that must control the gate across the chamber. It appears to require a key, however. Down there, that looks like a likely candidate. Where did she come from? Nocturnal started to repair transparent law. Soon none of this will matter. You can't reason with crazy, Lathan. Besides, we've got company. How observant, Knight.
I'm not big on libraries either. This portion of the tower seems more damaged than the previous sections we climbed through. Let's look around and see if we can find a way out.
Yes, that must control the gate across the chamber. It appears to require a key, however. Down there, that looks like a likely candidate. She's just trying to slow us down. Meet up at the gate pedestal. Try the key pedestal. She did something to the controls. The gate won't open. We must be nearing the pinnacle of the tower. That's why Nocturnal sent her champion to slow us down. Nocturnal's Earl damaged this mechanism beyond repair. Even if we had acquired the key, I'm not sure it would have opened the gate. Sapiant magic is powerful but not as powerful as the magic of the Sigic Order. Since we don't have the key, I can try to overcome the damaged mechanism and then follow after you. I can operate the mechanism manually from here. Then, once you and Darian are through the gate, I can teleport across and make it to the other side before it snaps back shut. It's opening! Go on! I can't hold this for very long! Gate! Nathan, watch out! I have to stop you here. All of you. I wondered if you'd actually show yourself instead of just projecting menacing images. A closed gate won't save them, Lathan. No, but this will keep you what? busy for a time. No! Where'd they go? Is Lathan... gone? That should keep her busy. For a short time, at least. Um, why are you glowing? I was overconfident, I'm afraid. Valserin always said I was too sure of my own abilities. I just assumed I'd be able to get back to the protection of the Resolute Anchor before I was unmade. Pity. I would have preferred a more heroic ending. I had to do something to get rid of Nocturnal's champion. At least for a little while. Beyond that, I really did hope that a moment outside the Anchor's protection wouldn't be fatal. Just something else you can tell Valserin I was wrong about. You can stop Nocturnal. I'd really rather not see you and the Knight wind up with this fate. And if all goes well, you can tell Valserin that... that I'm sorry. Now hurry! Nocturnal's Earl won't be gone long. I should be thanking you. You had no reason to trust me, yet you did. And you gave me a chance to see my wife. To reconcile with her, in a way. Now go and beat Nocturnal. I have faith in you. Tell her I'm going to go be with our daughter. 
Tell Val that we will... We will wait for her. We should... We should keep moving. There's nothing more we can do here. Colonel's realm. We've got to be nearing the top of this damn thing. Creepy voice. We have to keep going. My mistress can't be interrupted. Her work is too important. Give me the damn Dawnbreaker pack. Come and get it!
Dawnbreaker was never intended for you. Uh, Meridia's magic is gone. The blade isn't yours anymore either. We'll see about that. Join Meridia in my eternal darkness. We are not dying like this! That worked? Nocturnal's Earl was wrong. Meridia's power, it's not gone. Her magic remains strong and vibrant. The vessel, the last light of Meridia. It's me. I finally understand everything Meridia told me. Her power, it's inside me. And with it, I can remove the corruption from Dawnbreaker. I can fill the relic with divine energy again. Then this is even better. You can use the restored Dawnbreaker to save the world. I just won't be around to see it happen. I finally understand. I'm the vessel of Meridia, her champion. But you're the key to stopping Nocturnal and saving reality. I'm saying you've got this. Whenever a threat appears, you bring the champions together. You find a way to win. And I'll be at your side for this one final battle. Just not in the way I originally expected. I'm returning the last of Meridia's power to the Blade, so you can stop Nocturnal. I wouldn't do this for anyone else. Thank you. For everything. The tower crystal is almost whole. You're too late, mortal.
I only grow stronger as we bathe this world in darkness. Defenses no longer keep me out. Are you here, my friend? You, you transparent law, it's whole again. I didn't think that was possible, and you stopped Nocturnal. You're back upon Somerset, my friend. The tower itself, it reformed. But, but where's Darian? And Blathen? Of course. When you restored the Tower Crystal, it most likely expelled Nocturnal back to her own realm. I'm a little concerned that I was able to walk in without a key, but we can figure that out later. Now tell me, what happened to Latham? Latham. I'll... I'll mourn for Latham later. I'm just glad he helped you. He would have made our daughter proud. For now... You have to tell Sotha Seal what happened. Then we can inform Somerset that the island, the world, is safe again. As I predicted, your efforts were successful. A slight chance is all probability requires. There is no such thing as impossible odds. You are proof of that. Was that Meridia's plan all along? Perhaps, perhaps not. Your perseverance paid off, however. You never gave up even when the darkness was unbearable. And because of that, the Crystal Tower is safe again. Life and death, it's all part of the ongoing circle. As long as you remember them, they will never be forgotten. It took Nocturnal hundreds of years to put all the pieces of her plan into place. And you wiped it all out with a single thrust of the Dawnbreaker. There will be other plans, I'm sure. But this particular threat is over. Next, every action we take can tip the balance of the flow of time. Bask in the moment and realize that you have done well, my mortal friend. You have saved the Crystal Tower, saved Somerset, saved reality itself. Even I could not have done better. Next, 
Every... For now, I must attend to other matters.